As South Africa celebrates Youth Month, so many young people have the potential for greatness, but unemployment changed them to mediocrity. Our project is the leading SME investment company which believes that it can liberate their potential by investing in entrepreneurs. It is using entrepreneurship to build the country economically and socially. Since its founding six years ago, Our2 has grown from a 60,000 rent startup into an institution with 160 million rent to invest in this vision. Gareth Taylor is from Our2 Project and he joins us in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Colin. All right. Tell us about the systems that are in place at the Away to Project in order to bring young people into the mainstream of the economic sector. So we believe entrepreneurship can be compared to riding a bicycle. Um, you can only do so much from learning the theory, but then it, you actually need to jump on. You actually need to learn about it. And also, it's easier to ride a bicycle if you have someone there who knows how to do it walking alongside next to you. So. We partner entrepreneurs up with mentors and experienced coaches in order to help them navigate the journey as they go. Mm -hmm. And then what measures are in place to, 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 to actually gauge whether the business has the propensity to succeed? Because we've seen a number of businesses just uh, disappearing into a state of oblivion when they get started as good ideas, but actually in the end just fail. We like to focus more on the entrepreneurs more than just the business itself. So there's a strong focus here on upskilling the entrepreneurs, ensuring that they have the expertise that they need in order to run successful businesses. Also, what a lot of entrepreneurs forget is that the customer is the most important thing in their business. So if the customers are happy and the customers are willing to buy what your company is selling, then it's more likely that your business is going to be successful. So making sure that we're able to concentrate and focus on the right things that will end up enable the business to be successful. It is good to have a good business idea, on the other hand, very, very tough in order to get resources in terms of financing human capital, capital as well as other uh, you know, machinery if it's a business that is industry oriented. So what is it that you do exactly to incubate the business? So in our micro incubation program, which is one of several of the programs that Awetu does, we spend six months working with the entrepreneur for those entrepreneurs who haven't started up businesses yet, they need to start up businesses with us. For those entrepreneurs that have running businesses already, we then work and focus on, on growing those businesses. So during those six months period, we uh, have that business coach who helps them and guides them and mentors them. And there's also a, an entrepreneurship program, a, a course that helps them and gives them the fundamentals about entrepreneurship but once more keeps that, that practical focus, so the focus on implementation and execution. All right, let's talk about uh, clientele. Most businesses would start as very good, but in the end struggle to find clientele because if you don't have a very consistent cash flow into the business, you are likely to succeed. So what is it that is done in the processes that have to be followed by an entrepreneur in order to be appealing to uh, the public out there so that they can come and consume the product that is being uh, produced? Well, I've heard uh, one of our marketing people said that um, if you're selling a product without marketing it and advertising it, it's like winking in the dark. You're doing it, but no one else knows what you're doing. So it's very important that if you have a great product, that you need to identify who, is your who are your target customers, where can you find them, and how can you access them and tell them about what you're doing in such a way that excites them, and they mm. then come to you. You know, most of the activities of incubation, what I've realized is that uh, young people are helped to open businesses in terms of registering the CC and being operational. And they call that assistance in terms of them getting websites and then getting email addresses. But at the end of the day, we don't know actually what business that is. It's just, you know, the, the, the design of the website, which is fancy, but we don't get, to, they call themselves CEO. When the business has just started, you get to have a CEO being a young person, <laughs> but actually not seeing the product out there. Sure. So. A company and a business aren't the same thing. I can go today and register a company and, and be the director and the CEO, but that doesn't mean that I have a business. It doesn't mean that I have cash flow coming in. It doesn't mean that I have customers. So with us, we're focusing on running the business. Yeah, you can get people to come and set up a company. You can get all the compliance stuff, but to actually set up a business that sells products or services that people want to buy, that's a different matter. Do you have an example for us uh, where you have had an excellent progression of uh, a, a young person who has had a very tremendous startup that you have actually incubated? So one of our businesses is uh, Growblock, where the entrepreneur Temba started up just doing hand-pressed bricks and uh, through our micro business incubator at the end of the process we then invested in him in our investment fund provided uh, 
up to, I think it was 3 million rand capital, and he now is employing over 22 people, and he's on his way to becoming a millionaire from someone who dropped out of matric seven years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the funding coming from? So at the moment, we've partnered with CIFA, the Small Enterprise Finance Agency, to invest in our investment fund businesses, although we are looking to corporates to invest, to, to invest in terms of enterprise development or supply development funding. Mm -hmm. This way, we can provide them with a, a return on their investment as well as obviously doing good and empowering uh, individuals. And then in the incubator side, we have partnered with the Jobs Fund. So there's funding from the Jobs Fund to work with 1,500 entrepreneurs over the next 18 months. All right, Gareth, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, Colin. All right, uh, well, that's Gareth Taylor, who's director at Our Two Project. So if you would like to apply to be a part of Our Two's micro-incubation program, uh, you can SMS ambition to the number that is on your screen. It's 45345. I know you're out there wanting to start a business or you have studied it, but you're failing, you're finding it difficult to succeed. Well, there is a an organization that is meant to help you. It's called A Way to Project. So just SMS uh, the, to the number 45345, the word ambition, and then you will take it from there. And I wish you all of the best.